Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Sunny Justice with It's a Crime and Shame. And the story that we're going to talk about comes out of Lewiston, Maine with Robert Card, the suspect that is wanted for the mass shooting that happened yesterday on October 25th. So for anyone that's not familiar with what's going on with this case, that at least 22 people were killed in a mass shooting at a restaurant and bowling alley in Lewiston, Maine. Now, an intensive manhunt is underway for a suspect, officials have said, and police are asking residents to shelter in place. Authorities are expected to hold a news conference this morning at 10.30 Eastern Standard Time. Now, Robert Card is 40 years old and he's being sought as a person of interest and Lewiston police said he should be considered armed and dangerous. Lewiston is the second largest state and is about 36 miles north of Portland. Now, the violence added to the list of 565 mass shootings reported across the United States this year, according to the Gun Violence Archive. Now, let's talk about what's going to go on this morning. So, as I already stated, a news conference about the mass shooting will take place at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is today, Thursday, at the Lewiston City Hall, according to Information Officer Shannon Moss. Now, the manhunt continues for Robert Card, who Lewiston police identified as a person of interest and said should be considered armed and dangerous. Maine Governor Janet Mills will also be present at the conference and her office said in a statement adding that she had spoken to President Joe Biden who pledged his administration's full support. The governor received multiple briefings throughout the night by the Department of Public Safety Commissioner Mike Sashuk. The statement also noted saying a shelter in place order remains in effect across the town of Lewiston, Lisbon and Bowdoin. According to CNN, federal agents from the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the FBI, Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives, Department of Homeland Security and others have joined the search for a person of interest who police say is connected to the shootings in Lewiston, which is Robert R. Card. Now, the FBI has sent dozens of agents and other staff to assist the local and state police leading the investigation. These include evidence collection and SWAT teams, victims assistant experts, and technical specialists. U.S. law enforcement officials have said. New York ATF is also responding in support of Boston ATF to the massive active shooter incident and subsequent manhunt then wrote on X, formerly known as Twitter. Investigators are looking at the cell phone signals to try to identify his movement in the hours and days before the shootings, as well as examining social media and other electronic records to try to identify his whereabouts. So now this brings me to Robert Card, the person of interest in the Lewiston shooting that appears to have registered a jet ski in June. So relevant since police slash media report his car was found abandoned at a boat launch on the Androscoggin River. Now, does that mean perhaps that this was planned and that perhaps that there was a jet ski waiting at the launch and the reason why his car was found at the boat launch. Now, the make is a Sea Dew, the type is PWC, year is 2019, and this is still active, used as pleasure, and it was registered on the 21st of June of 2023. Let me know your thoughts about what you think. Do you think perhaps that this was his escape? That this was something that he had planned to do and was getting prepared to do it before it actually happened? Again, leave your comments in the comment section of this video. You guys, make sure you share this to all your social media and please say a prayer with It's a Criming Shame for these families during this tragic time of events. 
and of course may Robert Card be put exactly where he belongs ASAP. Thank you guys. I will see you guys shortly as we continue to provide coverage with regards to this case.